Hi, this is Alex Power with My Creative Cinema, and today we're gonna talk about how to create a Sin City effect inside Premiere Pro. Stay with me, we'll be right back. On my channel, I create different reviews and tutorials for beginner filmmakers just like you. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing that you won't miss any of the future episodes that I release on a regular basis. Let's get right into the tutorial. Welcome to another tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro. Today I will show you how to create a Sin City effect. Let's get started. Make a note that you don't have to have only red color. You can make any color popping up in your footage. So, well, in this case, it's going to be a red color like in the Sin City. And everything else is going to be black and white. So, uh, we will cut the beginning here up to this point where I start talking. All right, we will mute that. That they won't gonna be on, not going to be on the way. And we will start here. And we will cut the end up to here. So that looks good to me. All right, that's great. We're going to the effects tab. The effect name you're looking for will be a leaf color. Leaf. Here it is, leaf color. We will drop this right into the footage. And right away, we will grab this tool here and drop right here on the red color. And this very first settings, you adjust to 100%. As you can see, it's already adjusted pretty well, but we can still see some shadows here. So in order to eliminate these shadows, you need to play with this settings, tolerance and edge softness. So we will get the tolerance a little bit higher. And okay, it's a little bit better right now. It looks okay to me. So if you wanted to create a smooth transition here you just set this back to zero you press the keyframe here on this little stopwatch it will create the first keyframe at zero and let's say i want to go all the way here and change this to black and white so i will create another keyframe and i will make this to a hundred and now we have a graduate transition look at that all right that looks good let's look at uh, the entire clip now it's all sad there are still some shadows it's not that perfect let's add some brightness to that brightness and contrast we'll put right on top and i would like to add a little bit of right here i would like to add a little bit of brightness and maybe like that and crush the blacks a little bit like that so now it looks a little better look at that all right looks like a sin city effect you can do this not only with the footage you can do this with the still images too okay let's take this picture of the model i was photographing a couple of years ago let's scale this to the frame size and let's look at her. She is beautiful. Okay, what we need to do in this case, we're gonna be leaving the blue color popping up and everything else is gonna be black and white. So we will get the same effect, leaf color, and drop right onto the image. And we will get this tool and get to the blue and highlight this. Look at that. We get a little bit of her hair here, a little different color. So we, what we can do, we can play with the settings again right here. See the blue color here, the settings, maybe something like that, 8%. Like, let's take a look. No, that adds more. So we need to get like maybe around 10% or even... 16 yep yeah, that looks good that looks perfect so again 
what we did today and here we can throw the transition to if you want to do the transition here you simply do uh, the keyframes we did a tutorial on that one so you just set the values to zero at the first one press the stopwatch create a key a keyframe is being created at zero and we move a little bit here let's say almost halfway and we'll create we'll put the a hundred percent there so let's get started and then let's take a look how that works with a still image all right all right that looks good to me too so we got this with the blue color here and we got this with the footage you just saw of me talking same thing same smooth transition it's almost perfect it's not that perfect but you again you need to play with that you need to make sure there's nothing red or like close to red even orange will be interrupting with you know settings so make sure nothing orange or even close to color red around you when you're filming just put that shirt on um, your talent and um, create that film all right that would be it for today thanks for watching let me know in the comments below if this tutorial was helpful for you and i will see you guys in the next tutorial in the next video also if you find my videos helpful please like subscribe and comment and support the channel thanks for watching See you next time.